Hello and welcome back in Carval Space Program Car Year Mon. Today we are still conquering the moon, but if we have time, we will go to Minmus for the first time as our relay satellite is almost there. As you remember, the trip to the Minmus is seven days and we are on eighth day since the game began. So our Minmus lander is, oh, sorry, Minmus miner is going <laughs> for a transfer window, of course. It's not yet there. It's a very freshly new design I made. I will show you that in a moment in, v, in the VAB. But let's first go. I have an engineer there because it improves uh, the efficiency of the drills. This is our special craft to well help others really i would call it this way to help others i forgot to do one thing here i forgot to well yeah put a new science stuff here so uh, yeah our moon space station will be still not fully completed with all the science but we are also one step short to send our EVE mission, really, with satellites. I am just missing one engine, I think, and that's it. I have a, a already done design from Ilier for, a, let's say, career mode, but it's also more or less early career mode. And really, yeah. The basic tech is there, all the science is there, only one engine is missing and it's not that uh, expensive to unlock it, so of course I can still exchange it for something else and send it right away, but yeah, I'm on just few science short, so I will wait just a minute. Okay, because we will be in Minmus in, in just a minute, so yeah, it's pointless not to wait. And off we go, okay, two, one, okay, we can start, really. So let's go, oh, we have 800 meters per second burn, like, phew, one minute, okay, let's speed this up a little for a second. As you could see, it has a own heat shields and an additional one, as there's a, a ISRU module, then it's just needed okay let's follow up here uh, 20 20 20 yep, up, 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 uh, too fast let's have a look on the minmus side yeah because we want to be here so we need to focus here a little those only two meters per second make a difference okay let's stay there still as it is and almost there okay 50 okay i don't like that 50 <laughs> but okay maybe this will help a little yeah this will help a little it's the proper way okay let's have a look here three meters per second okay oh, pa, 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 pa. what happened here no 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 Okay, let's let's move forward. Let's move forward. Prograde to the minimus. Okay, we can clean that up later. Let's just be on the proper place. Like this. Okay, I can go with 40 kilometers. And uh, even closer is good. 26. It will be easier to land somewhere. Okay. So our miner is there. It will not do any science really. It's not for science here, so we need to remember that as well. And that's just an extra hint for you. Okay, it could be even less than 12, why not? Okay, up to five, six, okay, let's, let's do it like seven, eight, I think on the poles. That should be safe-ish. Okay, and it will be still in low uh, space around the Minmus. This is a honey spot here, really, because we have a one biome here, one biome here, and one biome here. 
and extra biomes all around. So if we can land our rovers more or less here, I can even leave here like three rovers, at least two. Then I can jump on the other side and do other science, yeah, but at least two rovers I can leave here. I think this is also a, a new biome, so yeah, those are great flats. Uh, I just don't remember all, all, all other ones, uh, but yeah, there are even slopes here on those edgy uh, sides, so yeah, fingers crossed. Let's make a new maneuver burn to our Kerbal Alarm Flock. As I told you earlier, you can use the normal one. It's working now after the latest update. So it will give you an alarm when you need, but as I already started to again to use this one, I, I am just sticking with it, yeah. So just don't worry about this and yeah, use the stock one. You don't need to have the mod. It works the same because this is integrated. The same mod is integrated to KSP and looks the same. My only thing is I cannot move this window. It's not nice. I would I would gladly see that I can move this window, but yeah, it's it's not possible. So what else can I say? Okay, 14 minutes for our lander X3 3X. Uh, and here is a story to be told. <laughs> I forgot about this ship. It almost flew by the moon and would go back to Kerbin. In the last moment, I saw it like, eh, I don't have any maneuver node here for this guy. And of course, I had one, but I forgot like uh, to do this a few hours earlier. I had too much maneuvering to do, and I just forgot about this guy. And of course, I, w I w the, my, my maneuver node that I planned that was like, few meters per second was aligning me with this craft here and now it costs me like uh, <laughs> almost 300 meters per second not only uh, 40 I think or 36 so you see it's eight times as much more or less even maybe nine times if you forget to do this outside of sphere sphere of influence of the moon the same goes for planets the same goes for every transfer window. If you can do it in the halfway or at the beginning, if you can correct this. As this is the same Kerbin sphere of influence, then I can do it whenever. The same goes for the sun sphere of influence. So if you are at the transfer window, it may be much easier to wait a few days till the craft is outside of Kerbin sphere of influence and then do small correction, few meters per second really, because doing it on Kerbin um, orbit may be just very difficult and make it up your delta V. So remember that at the beginning or in the middle and you can, if it's very delicate fine tuning, so very low uh, delta V, yeah? So do it in the middle. And it's very precise, very precise. More precise, it's like at 10% at to the target, but it costs a lot of fuel. So uh, it's good, but not that good. Yeah, it's better to do it uh, halfway out at the beginning. That's it. Okay. But as you could see, we are not yet seeing any extra objects because we are not seeing any. Bit. We need to, I think it's since. 110, we need to put a telescope on the sun's orbit to see, well, asteroids. And this is, uh, or, and comets, of course. And this is what I'm telling you right now, because some of you may say, hey, I would like to catch an asteroid. You would like, but first you need to see it. <laughs> and that's totally other thing. Okay. As you can see on my list, we have today the moon lander, the new moon lander, the space lab, we have moon miner and the rescue mission from the 16 million uh, orbit, so million meters orbit. And the contracts are coming back uh, as well. So it's our first moon landing and return, that is, of course. So. Yeah, we have so much to do and we have a uh, MK2 moon lander really being at the moon, Minmus relay in one day, the rovers, 
yeah, so many things are, are on their way and why the miller is so far away? Oh, did I plan this so wrongly? <laughs> Can be, because I think this is our, yeah, landing really. Oh, wait. Oh, um, this is Minar? Ah, yeah, Minar was Minmus, okay, uh, array, okay, okay. Uh, I'm sorry, Landers, Minar, okay. I remember right now. Munar was for the moon, Minar is for the Minmus. Okay, 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 good, 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 good. So, you see, I planned it so wrong that <laughs> all other crafts will catch it, like the rovers, like the station is two-third there. And the relay is almost there, so we will have some relaying first. And we have one more craft. Which one is it? Ah, oh, this is coming back. Those is, ah, this is Kerber Rescue. Okay. So yeah, they are. Yeah, I did have some small fine tuning, so they are also. No, this is not the craft. Which one is it? Who is having this? Minmus Miner. Okay. Minmus Miner is doing this. This little guy. <laughs> he is going there like crazy fast, but... Really? It looks a little bad, so let's, let's just have a look quickly. We have time, we have a few minutes. Always double check, just in case. Uh, the Minmus Miner, mm, okay, he has something there, so he will not jump out of the Caribbean system, but he could. So you see, it's not that, well, something that cannot be done. We can always use Moon and Minmus Gravity Assists to just go and fly away somewhere, somewhere, somewhere. And in this case, it would go higher than the Caribbean, okay. But let's leave it, let's leave it for now. We still have few things to do. And one of those few things, uh, really, I forgot that we have two texts to unlock. And let's, let's show you and tell you. First of all, let's show you what I can exchange and then I will show you what I cannot. It's again middle of the night, unfortunately. So I need to have this engine that I can exchange with something less efficient. So it's not a problem, yeah? So this is not mandatory tech. It is not, but yeah, there's always a but. <laughs> there is one tech that I really, really need and it's somewhere here, yes. This one is needed for communication, I think for relay antennas. Uh, on Eve, I think I already used those guys. I just need to recheck, is that true? So let's have a look on that design, really. Okay, so we are here and where is my special design? Here it is. You can see it still has information that we have some unlocked parts. And only one engine, really. So if I would say I want to launch this, then I need to replace those guys. Only those engines, really. And of course, this gives us here TVR 0.4, so very slow. But okay, this is the last part, this is 5. So they should push us only to orbit, really, if I see it correctly here. Okay, something's wrong. Something's wrong. Because it should be better. So number five should put us to orbit and push us out of the orbit. Oh wait, there's a next stage there. Uh, what's the next stage? Well, those guys are not going away, really. Okay, I'm missing something here. Let's just check. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There is something going, going away, but it's not that guy. Okay, yeah, they are starting because they are taking this fuel, so we are not losing fuel here. 
So we are gaining here extra fuel and we are losing, yes, those guys here. So they are going home, those boosters and uh, the second stage. So the six is going home to land, hopefully. I will try to land that. But uh, before that happens, uh, of course, first of all, it we will ignite six engines with all those chutes just in case yeah that will finish will be almost on orbit then i will go with it and we'll have one tank in the middle and where is that one oh it's here as well so this one will be triggered to get us into orbit really so it has an extra help from those guys yeah so they are not really doing the heavy lifting they are doing the non-heavy lifting <laughs> and they are just auxiliary support and then they are doing the heavy lifting because the next stage is separation but not this one oh wait 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 number four yes then we are doing heavy lifting you see so on the five we are almost in space so we sh it should be sufficient almost one tvr uh, will be there then we are dropping them and we have three thousand meters per second only to go to eve and that's enough because with this we will jump start at the maximum possible moment eve transfer so I will do it so it can drop into the atmosphere and at the same time that it will not cause any damage really. So we'll go straight forward, prograde to Kerbin's orbit, not a rotation, but orbit around the sun. Oh wait, no, retrograde because the EV is on the internal ring, so retrograde, sorry. Then we will wait. Of course, I will push with the last, uh, let's say 1000 meters. So we can go more to to the eve close encounter then after the carabines uh, sphere of influence if we drop this uh, i will fine tune the orbit and that's it and we are more or less in the ideal position here ladies and gentlemen because we have labs on carabin moon and minmus we already sent them so they will generate us points huge amount of points well in time yeah that will allow us to unlock the tech tree then i will send this huge battery of science points eaters <laughs> they will land on multiple places on eve on Gili because yeah oh wait i should show you something what is really inside of those guys so let's let's just remove all the fairing for a moment let's delete all the fairings so you can see what's inside here okay so we have our communication relays and i see those are the middle ones so not the latest tech so that's good so i remember wrongly this will still allow us to communicate between carbin and eve should be good more or less then we have the internal ring of communication and this will perform close and high uh, space science so very good i have two of those because we will meet Gili on eve's orbit the same goes for duna so i can launch this also for duna duna need shoots that's why uh, this is very good design and because on Duna we have Ike without atmosphere. So those guys here are landers for Ike and are landers for GD. So they can be reused on both missions. Yeah. Those here. And as you can see, I have few of them. Four to be exact. Why four? Because I can do in total eight science. And that's very important doing eight science eight biomes i can visit and more or less there are at least six biomes on both of them so and 
one spare, let's say. <laughs> okay, so we have that. Then we have resource satellites, really. And of course, I could put here one more satellite for the Sun um, ex uh, asteroid uh, excavation, yeah? Not excavation, sorry. So like spotter telescope. But for that, I wait for a mission because there's a mission for this. There's a contract that is giving us a huge amount of money to put a telescope around the sun's orbit 10 million kilometers above the sun. So billion meters, yeah. And for this contract, we get a very nice amount of money. So that's why it's not here. I'm still waiting for that contract. And of course, we have an atmospheric lander. So for those, I have much more. They are separated in individual ones because they cannot move like on Geely or like on Ike because they can land and take off those guys. But those guys, unfortunately, cannot. They will land. They are just uh, uh, drop packages <laughs> with chutes. So there's some some call, some kind of, uh, uh, yeah, lander bombs, <laughs> we could say. But they are just uh, plain, simple landers like uh, Mars landers. And they are landing, performing science on site. And that's it. Yeah. The same concept is here. We have heat shields that are securing our um, our internal instruments, like chutes that are needed there, our solar panels, a little, yeah, and that's it. And then off we go, yeah, with another one and another one and another one. So yeah, everything is there. What's needed is hidden here inside, all the science, including the antenna. So the antenna will not be extended during the descent. So everything will be triggered prior to the descent. And that's it. Yeah, they don't have any science because they are only to be placed on polar orbits. So they have only delta V and they need to be as light as possible to be placed on the proper orbits and stay there. Why I'm telling this? Because Ike and Gili are ideal places to put a mining operation for any craft that would need extra fuel to go back home. Yeah, so when we push there a space station, it can refuel at Gili or Ike. And that's good. Okay, so we know everything now about this design. Of course, it's very expensive. And of course, it has a huge amount of parts. From where does it come from? from all the science chutes, etc. Yes, unfortunately, all the batteries, the chutes, the solar panels, everything that is here is needed, yeah? And generates tons and tons of parts. So that will not be that easy to launch. Well, it will be easy to launch, but will generate a little confusion on some parts. <laughs> That's why it's very um, important to always have it auto strutted on few places. I think I forgot here, but uh, in this case, I think it's even not needed because they be oh, this the end is always strutted. So the top part, I think, always is strutted to the heaviest part. So yeah, and they behave very nicely uh, uh, um, at the start of the rocket and going orbital as well, because I launched one already. So this is good design. That's why I took it again, because yeah, doing the same thing again for like two hours ish, planning this rocket really. Yeah. And with all those elements, yeah. Why bother if there is a good design? And I will share this with you because some of you may want to go to Duna, may want to go to Eve, and they really want to have something nice to get science out of there. So yeah, that's why I'm saying we are racing against the time to send this rocket to EVE because the EVE transfer window is closing since day one and we need to catch that transfer window. So this is our goal to start this rocket as soon as possible. And we will do this, of course. Yeah. Okay. So this is our EVE mission, really. 
and of course Duna as well. Now let's go to the next one. What I did send to, yeah, into space, really. Uh, I don't think I showed you this guy. Nope, that's something from Ilior Games, sorry. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Hmm. Oh yeah, the Moon Miner, yeah. So this is the rocket really. So very simple first stage, mostly engines, really. And it is capable of getting us where we want to go. And I forgot one thing here and that I need to correct. This has no cross fuel. <laughs> uh, uh, cross fit for the fuel. And now it's not four, it's seven. So the first part is taking us almost to the edge of the orbit. I am going more or less 40 degrees, 45-ish, and yeah, after the first uh, 8 kilometers I'm going doing the turn and it runs great. And it can even land, <laughs> it can even land, oh this version, oh it didn't save, oh, oh no 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 no, mm, this version had additionally one more shoot here, I just don't know why it didn't save it but it has one and that shoots are here as well okay so it can land autonomously without any help and that's very important of course because well we want this to be happening yeah okay let's save again ah, now it's good hopefully okay let's do this a few times um and it has some heat shielding here because it can take the heat from the ISRU. So also the convertotron. So through the uh, top part, it can take the heat and cool it off. But of course, as here, as uh, said earlier, the radiators are also on the part where the drill is. And we have an extra thermal cooling system small just to take any extra heat out of the rocket if those guys are not efficient enough. That's it. Nothing else needed. And I was wondering, should I do a docking port? I don't have the big one yet. So I decided to go with the grabbing unit on top. And there is a small, as you could see, a small docking port, the, the junior one here on the bottom that allows to dock with the, if someone has this junior docking port as well. And more or less, that's it. Okay, so we know this one. There is something more in the orbit really before we go forward. And yeah, I think I, did I show you this X3? Yeah, this is our special unit to really help out a little because we didn't have any grabbing units and we have a craft that is on the orbit and really needs a little push. And this will do this. We will meet with our rocket. We will go from behind or from the top, whatever. And we will push that rocket forward so it can reach uh, the better exit position for Kerbin uh, escape. Well, for, for Kerbin return, better said. Let's hope this works. If not, there is a moon miner there that will, let's say, push the craft if this fails and of course here we have for another mission our crew if i forgot to show you this and yeah we used boosters for this what you don't know yet we have new landing legs yes a bigger one better one as you can see they are better than those guys much higher yeah and that's important for our new designs that we will be performing of course but this is it for now, I think, don't save. Oh, there was no don't save on our scan set. Yeah, hopefully the fairing sticks. Yeah, sticks, okay. Okay, um, and yeah, I think that's it. There's nothing else to discuss further from new designs. Well, moon base, yeah, moon base. Oh, wait, 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 yeah. I sent a moon base, as I said. I just skip the, the launching part, but I send a moon, or did I? No, I did not yet do this. Sorry, sorry, sorry. It's a waiting scientist. I have only one 
I'm waiting for the for the people to return from orbit. So I have only one scientist here. I could send it already with an engineer and do the contract. But I think uh, I would uh, rather wait for a scientist to have him. And here's the one thing. I think I will expand the astronaut complex whenever I have more money because I am running short on money. Of course, I got all tons of money due to the contracts, but I already spent it on few crafts. So, you know, if I don't send other crafts to the moon that can make us tons of money, then yeah, spending now this one uh, for this one, yeah, it's, it's not an option. Of course, I could somehow gather this, this uh, funds, but yeah, it needs to wait. Okay, let's do our contracts really, so we can really go back home. So let's go and save a Kerbal. Yes, this is Kerbal saving stuff. And the, yeah, because the craft that we are targeting here is our engineer that will help us out fix the rover. Yes, this is the Tom Wolf's Hulk. And there's an engineer inside when we will go back home we will try to catch this irreval pot where we have a pilot and then we will go back home. And as you can see, we have still our transfer stage with us, so Caribbean to the moon. And that's good because I want to use it as much as possible. This will be for landing extra again. So 1000 landing and takeoff more or less. And this one <laughs> is for a secondary landing because we can land here secondary. And of course, oh wait, I, oh, I, I did have, a, oh, I didn't save the design. Sorry, sorry. We did push, uh, I changed that, that design that I showed you earlier. I bought the grabbing unique from the science points prior to the launch. So I managed to exchange the, the design. I didn't just save it. So my bad, my bad, but still this will push our rocket forward that we have our lander. And of course the lander is still, I think, on the surface. It's not yet waiting. And our next trip will be with an engineer and the communication relay to that satellite. It's already, I think, going uh, into the transfer stage. I think this moon lander has it, if I recall correctly. So yeah, we are on the way and in a few hours uh, he will be trying to catch that satellite should be oh wait yeah we have a minute <laughs> so let's use it really to double check you know it's better to check <laughs> it should have two tourists and one engineer and let's tourist tourist engineer so yes this is our craft i recently love those strip stripes uh, of leds because they are giving great effect, visual effect for lighting up the, the rockets already. It is inside here, unfortunately, because it's the best placement I could find for this guy. Yeah. So this light, oh wait, don't take both of them. Just take one of them. Yeah. For this light uh, here. So light strip M MK1. It's great. Let's maybe aim camera. So. It puts a great visual light, as you can see, just above it and in all angles. It's better than anything else and it's lighter than any other light. So I started to love it really because it is 0 0.001. So I think 10 kilograms, it's the lightest, one of the lightest parts, only one, stru two structural parts and struts are as light as this and this gives great light for lighting up uh, the craft and even if I, I could even bet that for landing we could use it as well but for landing really those are much better because they can light up the ground 300 meters above it so that's why I use them the the normal lights the illuminator mk1 but still those guys are great for illuminating space stations and crafts just to see what's happening there. And yeah, just so you know, 
And this is our, of course, uh, new lander that I designed. As you can see, it has also heat shields. Why it has heat shields? It should go back home. And that's, uh, that's the grand design. Of course, this one will be ha having a problem. So it's catching the satellite. It needs to land, so then we will refuel and then we will go home. So this guy is coming to the moon. Oh, great orbit. Mm, but, 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 is it trying to catch the satellite? Yes, it is trying to catch the satellite. So everything is planned as it should be. So our grand design, yeah, I can see it already, is to catch it and that's good. So we are good with that as well. Every possible plan and contract is here, awaiting. And uh, the best thing to not lose yourself is to have some kind of uh, cheat sheet, uh, maybe an Excel document or Word document where you say, okay, this craft with this name should do this and that. And let's say a check mark, maneuver node created, yeah? Or uh, maneuver pending to be created, yeah? So you don't lose yourself. This is very simple game so far we don't have that much crafts in the air but like i said i have a few years old save that i need to go back to really and play a little again due to some kerbal series and other activities as a youtuber i neglected my save a little but it has i think 159 or 57 launched ships we could exclude some satellites, relay satellites, so let's say even 100. 100 crafts that you need to know what, where and why. And that's not easy. That's why I'm saying this. It's really good to have it either in your head, really, and don't forget it. Or it's good to have it really on paper because if you are having some, let's say, um, yeah, pit stops between the games then it's just better to yeah to know this this and this and as you can see this is a nice situation here we have so many satellite connections to this guy to the rovers because it's relaying wow i didn't knew we have that many but if we have a look here yeah so many relaying and the most important ones are here those three as you can see now, there is an ideal triangle here. No, not this one. Uh, I think there is one, yeah, just beneath it. And that is our main relay uh, satellite uh, network. N nothing else is needed. We could do this with two as well, with, if, with ideal launching. And that I will probably show you for the um, polar uh, caps. But if I won't show you this, please visit my tutorial regarding placing the tetrahedral network around the carbine. Yeah, I think I said it correctly. If, if not, it will be, let's say, a double uh, pyramid on the top and on the bottom. So double pyramid, one on the top and one on the bottom. And they are ideally catching itself from both sides. So I fine-tune this like if they are close to Caribbean, because it will be elliptic, they're just going like this. And they are doing it at the same time, really. So it was very tricky to put them there like this, but it's also not that uh, tricky to have it. And it's very, very useful to have it really as it should be. Okay, let's have this here. Who is your communication relay? Uh, I don't see it. Someone is. Okay. Just not seeing. Okay, okay. Still, we have here a moment of truth. Quick save. And off we go. So, ba -ba 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 -ba, three seconds passed. Okay, let's start this. He is fast. As you can see, it's just a few second burn. And hopefully the margin is not that big for the error. Hopefully. 
Okay, let's have a look here. Uh, I don't want to crash there or something, so <laughs> we need to watch out for the periapsis. Uh, apapsis, sorry. Mm -hmm, still good. Is it our or is it his? It's our still good. Okay, let's leave it as it is. We can meet with this guy. Now we can just have a look when we can do this. And yeah, let's take it here. And one, and two, and three, four. Oh, come on. We are too high still. Okay, let's go there and make it better then. How high is he really there? That's a good question. How high are you? Oh, this is Artemis landed. Sorry. You are there perhaps? Yes. 10 kilometers. Okay, that's the problem. Okay, let's go like this a little. Hopefully. Correct. And let's have a look. Boom, 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 boom. Mm -hmm. No, it's not helping. Okay, let's reduce it the proper way. And we are going down to 10,000. And boom, 9,000. Okay. So the target is here. Where are we? Oh, our P is here. Okay. I think so. The target is 13. We are at 10. Okay. We should be safe. I hope so. But uh, yeah, let's now check it. Can we meet again? Uh, oh, 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 nope, no. But in two hours, we could meet. Now the question is how much should or should we not meet? And that's a good question. Can we go like this? And can we go like this? And like this? Uh, this will help a little. Okay. So maybe we need to go and do this much higher. I think higher is better, but still, we need to reduce this to the minimum. Oh, 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 to have an encounter here, exactly. 1.8, okay, that's already good for this. Okay. 1.5, okay, I can do this with 1.5. The question is, will I die? <laughs> Definitely, I will, probably. Probably, or maybe not. No, I will die. I will die. So I need to remember to correct our burn as well. But in two hours, yeah, we can meet. So let's plan this. Now we have our space lab as well to be corrected. And we are almost there as well. Let's see. Can our space lab give us some science? Not yet. Not yet. But they are on a good track here. So let's move forward. And as you can see, it's just very small burn to complete our contract. So let's quick save this. Okay, I think we are good here. Okay, yeah, if we even do this a few seconds earlier, I think this doesn't matter that much. Yep, exactly. So I'll stick there for 10 seconds and we will have a winner. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I want to be a winner. Where are you? Where are you? You are here. Yeah, I have everything. I have everything. Come on, come on. Don't tell me it's a new, not new and unmanned. Oh wait, unmanned. We have people. We have people there. Okay, EVA. <laughs> uh, sorry, and switch. 
And go on EVA. Okay. Now I think we are unmanned. <laughs> and you can grab this guy as well. Grab. Okay. And the contract is fulfilled. 150,000, 16 science, 18 prestige. Yes, I like it. So this is how we trick the bear, really. <laughs> Board. Start science again, please. And let's go there. Board. And off we go. 3.5 science per day. So we are moving forward. And of course, I get, got here extra science equipment, so it can be used. But as you know, we are missing here one of the gear. So one type of science is not there yet. And so the ionic uh, magnometer, because we recently unlocked it. So this needs to ca come with the next lander that would like to replenish those resources. Don't worry, don't worry. All good. Okay, what's next? Uh, this is this one. All right, yeah. So we can close the alarm. And we really have a moon lander to be corrected and the moon miner. So I think I will leave you with this for today. But before we go home, please remember to subscribe and we will visit the mission control. There is new mission available. So, oh, moon large crater, nice money. Hmm, transmit 100% of the total available science from moon large crater on the moon. Okay, this is a nice contract. 100,000, 140 to do. Moon is close, one day travel. Okay, we can do this. Definitely we can do this, but we need to build a nice rover. Huh. That big arm is heavy. We don't have wheels. Well, we do have wheels, but yeah, that, that may be a problem. Okay, I need to design something special. And I wonder, will we get something better than this? And I need to recheck, do we have this big arm already or will it be given to us? So let's go quickly here. And check that arm science and large arm is there, light is there, and the medium is there. Okay, so we have a large arm. Okay, then we need to design a rover and send it there. That will be something that I can do off the air. And hopefully I will do this landing, this uh, maneuver, this maneuver, and then we will only need to... What do we need to do? We need to then land that contract, uh, that moon lander, I think we'll jump in in one day for this, or maybe earlier, for our EVE launch. And then the minus relay, yeah, in one day we'll be on minus. So I think we will meet in one game day in our next episode, because we have multiple things happening, like minus uh, relay, our uh, new lander uh, maneuver, and our contracts are coming back as well. And those are important. We have people there. <laughs> no, we don't have people there. We have science there. So yes, this is all we need to improve ourselves to be multi-planetary exploration program. And with those words, I'm leaving you. Please remember to, again, subscribe, like, and comment. And if you can, please, please share. That doesn't cost a thing and it helps a lot pushing the channel forward so I can unlock all the features that YouTube provides to the content creators and as this is very important for everyone who is creating anything. Please remember that as yes, you can help multiple people by just subscribing to the things you love to watch. Even if it's once a week, this really means a lot to all of us. Thank you. We were playing Kerbal Space Program Career Mode. This was Dotson. See you. Bye.